what do we have here? You guys know when I went down to Blizzard Bash, I bought myself a nice pair of V-treads. But we have them on a rim. A lot of guys said I couldn't double these. Don't tell me I can't do stuff because I will do it. So we got them doubled and we got them on CRV rims that are narrowed. You can see all the welding right there. So she, they're narrowed quite a bit. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So I got the tires up there heating right now because it is freezing cold outside. So I'm just heating the tires up because rubber becomes a little bit more malleable when it's warm. So we're going to get these things down on the ground. And I'm going to show you how I find the perfect size for the inside of my V-treads. So there's my V-tread. And it's going to be a little warm and toasty. And there is my donut. So how I determined what size donut should go in there, I had that thing full of air when I did these measurements, be aware of that. So what I have here from the inside to there is about four inches. So now if you go right across the tire, you have 14 and a half plus eight because you have four here and you have four there. So basically when you do that, you end up with a tire size that you're looking at for about 23 inches tall would be your inside diameter. So across here, you go from outside to outside, we're 21, but with the, when the air is in it, the inside folded out to about 22 and a half. So that's the size of tire I'm gonna put inside of here. Uh, these are a 515, and these here are a 225.70.15. So now we're just gonna force these two to make love and get inside of each other. You guys have seen me double tires before. I like to use seat belts. Everybody's got their own ways. Uh, at one point in time, I did have a machine to help me double the tires, but uh, it almost broke my arm, so I kind of got rid of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my knee and fold this tire, put the seat belt through itself. Why I use seat belts is I find them really easy to get out. You're just gonna wanna tie this thing into like a weird figure eight shape. Now this comes the tricky part, It's putting this thing inside of here. This is a very narrow tire, so this is where the hard part comes in, is getting this in here. Uh, two people would be nice if you guys are struggling to do this at home, but it's overall not, not necessary. We got one side in. Now we're just going to take this tire, kind of form it in. I don't know what it is. A lot of people say they have a hard time doubling the tires. I have no t problem getting the tire inside of the tire. My problem is, is with the tubes. I don't know if it's not that I'm not skilled enough or that my machine, my, my machine is really old. I find that my, they, my, my machine likes to rip the tubes. So once I have it in the tire like that, that's the easy, that's the hard part. The rest of it is just spooning her in. There you go. That was a real time tire inside of a tire. Boom. Well, that took me about two and a half minutes. But now my issue is let's go get a CRV rim because I like the CRV rims. Oh, it's already dark out. Welcome to Canada in winter. It's dark by like six o'clock. Snow everywhere. Now here comes my next issue. That rim is way too wide for that tire. So I narrowed these rims by this much, this much to get them to look like that. 
where I cut it out of is right about there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this thing on my little jig. Um, I wanted to buy one when I was at Blizzard, but unfortunately I missed out on it. So I had to break out my old jig, which is a lot different than theirs, but it does work. It's not as good as theirs, but it does work. So this right here is the jig I came up with. It is a old... I just broke my plasma cutter. Shit. It's an old trailer axle uh, that just I put a rim on and spin. And I can just set my... After I put a new tip on it now, because I just dropped it. Put my plasma cutter right here, and I just start, turn it on and just cut what I want to cut. I can angle this. It's not like super scientific, but let's go get a new tip and I'll show you guys how it works. Now, a lot of this here I'm not going to use. So I'm not going to use basically this section. So that's where I'm going to make sure I have a good start and then I'll go to where I want it to be. Set this thing up so it's got a nice space. Okay. Nope. I've been fighting for grounds all day. Okay, so, now I'm going to cut the back lip off and then I'll cut the front lip because then it'll stay on the thing and I can spin it. Does that make sense? So there you go. So we have the back of the rim cut off. Just gonna put that out of the way. Now I'm gonna cut the rim again. Make sure I don't burn myself. I could take this off and then take that off, but. did leave a little bit too much meat on this one, but that's okay. We will work that out later. So here we are doing these things again. Um, I got the rim done. I should show you guys the rim. Uh, rim rim's narrow. Uh, it's welded. It's ground. And I got red silicone on there just to kind of smooth out any spots that would kind of grab 
the tube. So I have the tube heating up in front of the fire right now. I have the tire right here. I'm just trying to do some math inside my head to make sure I put the tires on so they both face the same way. That's what my goal is right now. So I want them facing forward. Yeah, so the, the $75 label's gotta be facing me. So I've ran out of all my soapy water and I've ran out of all my WD-40, so what we're gonna use is actually vegetable oil to kind of lubricate this to get it on and then we're gonna put the tube inside of it and then we're gonna put it on and we're gonna fill this thing up. So let's get going. Be cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know so there we go, I got it on there Uh, it's a little bit oily But she's on there, she's holding there, tube took Everything took And Kind of had a little bit of trouble with the tube, it's just because there's no cutout in the rim. So maybe in the future, I'll drill the rim a bit just to have a little bit of a cutout. Like, see how the tube, the valve stem just kind of rides the tube inappropriately kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, that, that's in there now. And uh, let's put it on the car. Uh, that took me, I set my time lapse to 20 minutes equals one minute and it took 34 seconds. So I'm going to say it took me... 11 or 12 minutes to put this on there which isn't that bad honestly the the rim narrowing was the longest part but let's get this on the car and take a look to see what it looks like so there you go i got the passenger one on and i got the driver one on i'm going to do some quick measurements <sighs> let's get a light so we can look at these things properly mm. So I still have full-size tires on the back that are holding air. So I bet you if I aired those down, we get a more realistic look at it. Uh, so here we go on this side. Lots of space on the back. I'm going to say about two inches clearance on the top of the strut. Now these are V6 struts. These are not Sienna struts. These are 100% stock factory struts. So we still got about two inches over here. The hoist is not underneath it anymore. I don't have the bearings done up, so the tires are kind of leaning a bit. We got lots of space on the backside of the strut. So even if this gets folded over, there's lots of space to kind of let it fold. Uh, again, a big shot on this, you probably won't do very well, uh, just because of how big the tires are. Compared to the tires I normally run, I I'm gonna go get a tire that I normally run. Uh, 185 70 14 so these are doubled throw them up against there so it's about an inch shorter so realistically these v-treads are not really that much bigger and because they're narrowed and there's half as much rubber on there because there's only a donut inside there and the, the tires are half the size and those are aluminum rims so that kind of makes those rims lighter I actually think these are a lighter rim than that. I should go get the bathroom scale. Oh, my wife will probably kill me if I do that. But I should go get the bathroom scale to see if there's a weight difference between this and this. But yeah, so far V treads are mounted. Uh, I like them. They're not that much bigger than the tires I normally run. I thought they were actually bigger, but they're only about an inch taller. And that inch pretty much comes down to the tread. So overall, pretty happy. But I did make something that's a little bit different that I haven't showed you guys what I've built yet. It's still a prototype, I'm still working on it. Here is an SS rim with a weld-in center so it fits Toyota Camrys. But, everybody knows SS's are 15-inch rims, but we have a 14-inch tire on this. That's right, I'm doing some mysterious garbage here, guys. This is a prototype. Um, it's not exactly what I want, but it's almost there. So I have another one. I'm gonna to try to do that one as well. 
But uh, since I put that gas in my welder, I am enjoying welding all these rims. Not really enjoying, but it kind of heats up the shop a lot, which is kind of nice. But uh, what do you guys think of the V-treads? Um, unfortunately, I, uh, there's only one company here in Ontario that I can run it, run V-treads. And uh, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to run any of their shows, and only their pro class allows it. So, but I was very... But when I bought these tires, I was very, very precise on the type of tires I got. And our rules state all tires must be DOT. Oh, can the camera focus on that? What does that say? These tires are DOT approved. So these are road tires. <laughs> Find the gray areas in your rules, boys and girls. Um, there was actually tires there that were not DOT approved, but as soon as I found these ones, they said dot on them, I jumped on these ones. So what do you guys think? Do you like them? Where should I run them? Leave a comment down below on where you guys think I should run these.